Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, first things first, I am ill, so I'm sorry about my voice. Um, I'm back to do a February favourites. I just thought I'd show you what I've been sort of liking this month. I know it's almost the middle of the month, middle of uh, March rather. Um, but as I tend to always decide to film these rather late, I just thought so I'd I film it and I'll put it up. But it's last month, I was going to do January and then got to the middle of February and I thought I won't do it because it's a bit too late. And then it's got rant and it's come back to the same thing. So sod it. I'm filming it. And let's just get crack lacking. Um first things first, decided to subscribe to Glossy Box to get um samples of beauty products and stuff like that from them each month. It's ten pounds subscription plus postage to packaging. So for me that works out to like twelve pounds something, which isn't bad a month. Um looks like this. Um, with all goodies in it. Now, I have done. Oh, I have done a blog post on this, which is up on my blog. So I'll leave the link in the description, and you can go check that out. Um, leave me a comment down below to tell me whether you want me to um, do an unboxing video of these each month, so you'll get to see. In a video what I get rather than just reading it, reading it on my blog post. I'm still going to blog about these each month. But I just want to know whether you'd rather it be in a video form or written form. It's entirely up to you guys. Um, I look forward to hearing back from you. Um, so let's get on to my favourites. Now, the first favourites. Oh no, I've lost it already. That's just brilliant. The first thing, well two items from my favourites of this of February is these two. They came in um I'm just gonna do that. Hope you can see. They came in the glossy box and before they came I'd never even heard of this make and um basically it's H2K which is a brand of um shampoo and conditioner now I normally just buy the normal shampoo and conditioner I just hope that it works and recently I've been getting really greasy hair and that and I don't know if that's because I'm under the weather or what but I've been struggling with my hair at the moment so when they sent me these I thought oh, I'll give them a try gave them a try and they're actually really good they smell so good like when you smell them in the, the bottles they, you can't really, you can't really smell them properly. Um, but then when they're, great, I've got it all around my hands, well done, eh? Brilliant. Um, when they're actually being used on your hair, when you're washing your hair, the smell's just, the smell is, wow, it, it's gorgeous, basically. Um. When I, use, I first used this and I thought that it was drying my hair out a bit. Um, turns out that's what it's supposed to do. So when you put the conditioner on it, it really softens it. Um, I just love these. And I will be purchasing these again. And I know you can get it from their website or you can get it on Amazon for like £4 or something like that. So, repurchase I think. Next thing I've, I've been loving at the moment is this skin therapy body swab now oh, sorry about this now um, I have really really sensitive skin so if you if you've got really sensitive skin it's hard to get a body swab that doesn't affect your skin and bring you out in rashes and make you itch and stuff so this is just amazing I think I've mentioned this in one of my other videos I'm not too sure but I just love this stuff. I love all the skin therapy stuff because it is amazing, and um, it's, it's it doesn't really smell, which is a bit like. But I don't think anybody scrubs smell, so you know. But 
I would recommend this to anybody who's got sensitive skin or wants to use a body scrub that isn't too harsh on their skin this is brilliant I just love it and it does what it says on the tin it's most not tin but hey the next thing things rather is the Clarins, um cleansing set now I've had this for over a year because my mum got me it for Christmas one year and it come in this like gift bag thing and it the, I don't quite like the gift bag it's green and yellow I don't know if anyone else has got that um, now I have never actually used these because I thought oh, I'll just put them away and I'll use them when I'm ready I, I'm, I was using the simple stuff at the time so I was like oh, I'll just use it when I'm ready and then I went out of simple stuff and it was only a couple of weeks ago that my mum said to me why have you uh, she said to me have you used your clearance set yet and I was like oh no um so I started to use this this stuff is friggin amazing it's really it, it is dear but I would definitely recommend buying it again even if it's like once again once once a, once every sort of so often treat um these are just amazing they make your your skin feel so fresh and because for me because i've got sensitive skin i never really know what sort of product to use on my face because i don't want to be coming up in rashes in five minutes so i don't know what sort of thing to use but when i use the cleansing milk it just made my skin feel so fresh and left it feeling soft and at first it stung a bit but I think that's just the chemicals um, doing its job. Um, yeah, amazing. And then on top of this, I use the um, toning lotion, which you can see is like half gone. I need to be purchasing some more. Um, I think I actually prefer these to the simples, even though the simples um, leave my face feeling fresh and that like, these are just well these are too good to be true really I just love these and when I get next get paid I am purchasing these again um okay this one's gonna be a bit weird um this is Sudocrem bum cream <laughs> this is a friggin awesome product I never knew until a couple of weeks ago couple of weeks ago that you can use this on spots now over the past week or so no longer than a week or so I have been gaining loads of spots on my face everywhere and someone said to me you should use sugar cream and I was like I'm not putting baby's bum cream on my face friggin amazing for scars and spots and whatever they sort of it sort of just heals them and stops them from coming out anymore best product ever for spots just just saying now I have been I can't drink fizzy drinks because I get really bad stomach ache and I I just struggle to find a drink to drink and I don't really like um, orange juice or squash anymore so I've just been drinking water until my dad come home with a huge bottle of banana yazoo knowing that banana is my favourite milkshake and I was like oh I'm not too feeling it because I don't like the smaller bottles because the smaller bottle seems thicker I know it sounds weird, but the smaller bottles um, of Yazoo are slightly thicker. And then, give mummy home this. I've not stopped drinking it since. Um, this will last me sort of um, two days. And then, I'll have to get a new one. But, I love this. This is sort of going back to my childhood. And I just, I'm just in love with this at the moment. Who knows? I'll probably come back um, next month with a new drink. But at the moment, I'm sticking to my milkshake. That's 
sounding weird, but hey. Um, another product for my hair, which I've been loving at the moment. Now, this was a pound from the pound shop, and I thought, oh, yeah, it's a pound. It's not going to really do much. It's amazing. It It's heat defence, but it's leaving heat defence, and it... It's got something in it that gives your hair the boost, like a boost. So, um, I'll spray it in, and my hair ends up being like really bouncy and stuff. Whereas when I don't use it, my hair's just flat as anything, which is really weird. This is the packaging that it comes in. Brilliant. And that's the, um, when you first spray it in it feels like all oily and you think oh no it's going to make my hair really greasy it doesn't it sort of it dries your hair out but not in a horrible way it sort of dries it out but then gives it a boost it's, I don't know it's wow um, and for a quid it's not too bad actually you can't really go wrong for a pound now I've also had this in my, sitting in my makeup bag for absolutely ages and I've just never got around to using it because I've always been using my liquid eyeliner. Now, this one is called the... Man, manic? No. Magic Liner. So if I do that, you might be able to see it better. Which is from Topshop. It just looks like that. Um, I find it really hard to do winged eyeliner um, with a pencil, with my liquid eyeliner, anything. I'll always end up having one eye thicker than the other or they'll just both go wrong and then I'll give up and I can't do it like today. Um, so then when I found this product sitting in my makeup bag I decided to give this a go because I thought, oh, felt tip lid, um, it's a bit sort of curved. It works amazingly. It's so easy to use. If you if you struggle with doing winged eyeliner, it is free and amazing to do. Um, I just love it. I think it was about six pound in Topshop, but it's well worth it because. It just makes it so much easier to do your winged eyeliner. Oops. Another thing that I have been loving is these peel off face masks. Now, I normally only ever go for the mud packs because I just think they're better for my skin because when I've got sensitive skin, I just feel that they're better for my skin. I don't really know why, I just do. Until my friend Megan went shopping with me and she picked up these and I was like, oh, they look good. I'll give them a go. And they were free for two in boots, so I paid for two and got the third one free. Well, that was obvious. Anyway, um, I got two just plain cucumber flavoured ones and I got a uh pomegranate one um i used this one the other week i've also done a blog post about it um because i thought it was friggin amazing because i thought it would affect my skin it didn't what it sort of does is like it sort of peel peels no it pulls your skin together and tightens your skin um as it's putting all the rubbish out of your face which is really good um, it left my face feeling nice and fresh and it's just easy to use and it just peeled off really easily and yeah I think I left it says leave on to like 5 to 10 minutes I think I can't actually remember but um, I left mine on for I think it was 15 and it was just yeah, amazing. The I think these ones are better than the mud packs because they just peel off easier. Um, it does get a bit tight in the end, 
and I did feel a bit like oh my god I can't take this anymore so I had to take it off but I think if I left it on any longer I just wouldn't have been able to stand there pulling this but they're really good products um, if you haven't you should try them so this is the pomegranate one that I haven't done yet I'm gonna I will do this one and I will leave a blog post about it um, just because this is pomegranate and I don't know if this one's gonna affect my face so we set we shall see and then the cucumber one which is lovely now when you've gone out for the day and you've done your makeup or you've gone out for the night and done your makeup I you always need something to take your makeup off with. so I like the skin therapy um, I think they're like cleansing wipes I think that's what they're called yeah they're like cleansing wipes and I just like I just like to use them to do it like this They kind of, they they say that it's fragrance free, but they do kind of smell. I don't know what they smell of, but it smells nice. Um, I just like to take these off with, take these off now, take my makeup off with these, because they just leave my face feeling fresh before I go to bed, and then I can moisturise my face afterwards. Um, I tend to take my, makeup with it, take my makeup off with these, and then use my Clarins cleansing milk to take off the rest that it hasn't taken off um, I just feel that it's better to take off your makeup first before you cleanse your face before you go to bed um, so yeah these are cool, these were in Wilkinson's for like 69p but they were like 3 for 2 so I went mental and bought 3 um, oops oopsies now this is my favourite shower gel because I have got sensitive skin as I said and I can't use proper shower gel because I find that when it's put fragrance in it seems to affect my skin and I have itchy skin and redness and everything now this is sort of a compromise because this is the Simples refreshing shower gel now you can get the plain one like this or you can also get the I think it's blue and it's mint um, I love the mint one, but my nan got me this for Christmas one year, and um, she just went mental with simple stuff, and she got me about seven of these, and I've still got some because I keep forgetting where I've put them away. I keep forgetting they're there and they're just stocking up. But these are even this smells fruity. They smell fruity, and they're not got as many fragrances in which is weird but um, I just find that these are really kind to my skin and doesn't affect my skin so I've been loving this and blah, blah. last but not least my favourite perfume at the moment um, this is called Adore from NYX now Next has some really nice perfumes. Um, I got this for Christmas from my mum, and this is the packaging, and this is the little bottle. I just really like it. I like the fact it's small, cute. You can just go in your handbag, and it sort of smells of roses, which I really love that scent. So this is just a win because it's small, diddy, and it smells of roses. Um, yeah, I've just been wearing this everywhere I go. I've just been wearing this. I've been taking it with me everywhere I go. Um, I just love the smell of it, really. And I would, I do suggest that if you want a new perfume, you should go into NYX and get one of these because they're amazing. They have like all different perfumes in there, um, and every single one of them smells nice. And it's like so hard to find one that you like. Like this was, I think this was like six or eight pound. And they're quite cheap, but they do smell nice. You can get the bigger bottles for, I think it's £12. So, yeah. 
And the last thing I have been loving at the moment is these um, Real Techniques brushes. Now, they come in a little, um, what do you even call this? A case. And then when you open it up, it's a bit dirty inside, I'm sorry. It just looks like that. Now, you probably can tell the ones I really use, which is this one here, this one here, and this one here. I hardly ever use this little one. Um, but I've heard everybody rave about these and say how brilliant they are and everything like that. And I've always been like, mm, I don't know if to get them. Do I get them? Do I not? Because will I use them? Because I have tons of other brushes that I just don't use. Bought these and I have not stopped using them. I absolutely love these. I love the fact that even though you wash them, none of the hair comes out. They're still soft. They're just so soft on your your face. It's unbelievable. And they, I find that if you use them in a certain motion, they'll leave streaks on your face, which is a bad point. But then if you use it in the opposite direction, or opposite motion, whatever you want to call it, I don't really know what to call it myself, um, they don't, it sort of, I don't even know, it sort of fills your face. That doesn't even make sense. Never mind. I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but overall, I love these products. And I'm so glad I bought them. So yeah. So yeah guys, that was my favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's a bit long and long winded. Um, but I love you guys and I hope to see you next week. Also if you have any favourites, let me know in the description. Because I'd love to read those. And also let me know whether you want to see an unboxing glossy box video each month. Um, tell me in the description. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I shall see you next week. Love you guys. Bye. Nah. That I want to mention is I have got, um, I have got, no, Blah. I have description, the, the link in the description, not the description in the link. If you get a box, is this up right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's up right away. Um, you get a box.